Hi there, in this video I want to talk about the Roland TR8, a digital replication of the 808 and 909 classic drum machines of the early 80s. Um, and uh, there are many functions hidden in this machine and they're not described in the manual. I guess Roland uh, wants people to, to figure this stuff out by themselves and then talk about it and that's exactly what I'm doing here. Um, there is a boot mode in which you can make all kinds of adjustments and you can reach this mode by switching the machine off. Keep the pattern select button pressed and then switch the machine on with the button held. Don't let go of the button before it's uh, booted. Okay, and this is, this is the default setting right here. Um, as you can see, you have these assignable outputs, but the manual doesn't talk about or doesn't tell you how to, to assign the sounds to the different outputs. And in order to do so, you have to be in this mode. So um, these buttons A and B, they represent the assignable outputs that you have in the back of the unit. So in case you want to send the bass drum out of the individual out A, you just need to keep this button pressed, then type in the bass drum. Maybe something else uh, to go along with this. Maybe let's say I want the drums to go out, individual out A as well. Then you can see when you let go of this button, they no longer um, show up on the main outs page. This is the main outs page and the instrument keys are no longer illuminated. So they go out individual out A now. I can do the same for B and let's say I want the hi-hats to go out individual output B. They no longer show up on the main outs page here as well. And if I want to have them back, I just have to press the button again to have them run through the main outs again. So that's how you assign instruments to the individual outs. Um, there are many more functions. You see these uh, four green illuminated keys right here. The first two are MIDI functions. Basically, this is the MIDI data, the reception of MIDI data. If you switch this off, it does no longer receive MIDI data. If you switch this off, it no longer transmits MIDI data or, um, through the MIDI out. Three is a boost mode, which gives the main outs a little amplification, a little hotter signal for the main outs. You can switch this off if you wish to have a more neutral sound maybe uh, in combination with the assignable outs that could be uh, an advantage to have this deactivated. And then four is very interesting. This switches the input section on the TR8 from a stereo input left and right to two mono inputs. So if you have monophonic, monophonic uh, synthesizers like a Zoxbox or, or um, any other monophonic synth, that you want to hook up to the TR8's input, then you can uh, also deactivate this so that you have two mono inputs that will be um, equally loud on the left and right side. Okay. Um, for now, I like to have it like this. I have all the sounds run through the main outs for now. Okay, but there's more. Um, in this scatter section here, you can, uh, you can change the design of the step keys. You get different colors depending on what you choose here from one to six. Uh, that's the default setting is set on one. You get these TR-808 style colors on the step keys and they are pretty bright. Maybe f for some people like me, they're a little too bright. So you like to have them dimmed. It's the same colors as uh, on um, this position one, you can move this to two and you get a dimmed version of the TR8 style color lights on the step keys. Uh, check out the other settings as well. You get this uh, purple color um, design, I think on, on, on six, maybe it's four. I'm not sure, just check this out. Um, Okay, so this is where you can change the design of the whole thing. Then you know this, this screensaver mode, like after a certain amount of time, 
uh, not touching the TR8, it'll switch to this, I, I call it screensaver mode. Obviously this isn't a screen, but it's like a disco blinking lights kind of thing. And, and you know, it, it looks kind of impressive when you when you see this first, but, but it can get quite annoying after a while. And you have the possibility to just switch this mode off so it no longer starts uh, blinking and all this stuff. Um, when you hold down the tab key, so, okay, here you can see this is not the default setting. I've already made adjustments. You can switch this to off to one minute or up to 30 minutes before this blinking lights mode kicks in. Okay, just hold down the tab key and then um, you can dial in the value that you, that you want. Uh, C10, this represents the MIDI channel that uh, the TR8 uses uh, in order to, to, to be controlled by a different device or to control other devices. Channel 10, that's a, a common default setting for MIDI instruments. Uh, when it comes to drums, most drum computers, uh, um, especially the, the, the elder ones, uh, they all run on MIDI channel 10. You can switch this to, uh, if, uh, you can make changes from one to 16, you can turn it completely off or you can put in omni mode, which means that it'll accept all MIDI channels. But then if you have other gear running that could cause some problems, I like to keep the default setting on channel 10. Um, then there are, uh, well, okay, that, that, that's about it. There's one other thing I'd like to talk about, which is probably not that useful. The TR record button here um, puts the TR8 in a mode where you can um, set ghost notes if you type in in uh, track record mode. If you, if you press a uh, step button twice, that means that you get, when you, when you press it twice, you get this purple color step uh, key illumination and then you have 50% of volume for this particular step. Um, it's a dedicated mode that does that. Uh, the problem with this mode is if you know the 808 sounds, um, you have the possibility to put in closed and open hi-hat on the same step and you get a different sound. It's, it's, uh, it's, it sounds a little more like a closed hi-hat, but it is something in between. And uh, this doesn't work in this mode. So, I mean, I can, uh, and, and there's a workaround for this. If you have this deactivated, you can also type in ghost notes or 50% volume uh, notes just by pressing the instrument key and then typing in the note. And you will see exactly the same th uh, thing. The, the step will be illuminated in purple and uh, you have a, a minus accent on this particular step then. Maybe just to show you one of the other designs in the machine, I'm going to go to six and then switch to the normal playing mode. And you will see that the colors are in different design. So, okay, that's what you get when you put the depth to a value of six. Um, let's have a look at something else. Okay, now I can I can change this to five. Let's see what we get. I think you get these white, green, red, white design. Yeah, that's what it looks like with the setting of five on the scatter function for depth. Um, okay, but I, as I said, I like to keep it in this dimmed uh, lights mode on a depth uh, set to two. And that looks like this. And that's my default setting. That's how I like to keep it. There are plenty more hidden functions in the TR8, but this is only about the boot mode. And I wanted to let you know what you can, uh, about the changes that you can make there. I'm going to make dedicated videos of all the other hidden functions in the TR8, like panning and like uh, assigning individual instruments to the effects section. Um, and just, oh, I have, I still have this in um, track record mode, I think, I think. So you can see what I mean. Um, oh no, it was deactivated. Okay, but this is what I was talking about, about these minus accents. You just hold down the step key and then this will be a minus accent effect on the step that you choose. 
uh, pretty interesting um, and, and, and a lot to, to uh, figure out. And uh, as I said, I'm going to make more videos of all these other functions that you can find in here. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.